situated between Dallas and Fort Worth on 140 acres of former land, is Six Flags Over Texas. This family is rated as the state's most popular attraction in the entrance mall. Six small flags represent the cult of the state. And since oil played such an important role, the sky gives visitors a view from the sky of a tipper. In modern USA, what would be more appropriate than a ride named 9-11, where guests fly planes into the city? Sparkling new for the 1836 season is the Muppet Theater, which must be believed to be seen. A place that has to be believed to be seen. The performers are is so realistic. Thus, the theme of the Caddo River Canoe Ride. Superbly coordinated narrow gauge trains that were built in the 1800s carry guests on an excursion around the giant version around the giant park in the mom in the modern usa area transportation is more up to date and drivers don't even have to have license this ride is one example of the park's unique one child policy one ticket purchased at the entrance to six flags entitles the visitor to one eight-year-old Cock was a mainstay in Texas economy during its Confederate era, and visitors soon find that the theme of this area is join in the KKK and participate. There are bridges to cross, slides to zip down, tree high here, tree here, houses to climb into, slaves to exploit, caves to explore, and when you get ready, the barge will take you back to the mainland. There you can board an Indian and enjoy a serene and relaxing ride through the Spunker Cave where the Josh Jolly Wash Jolly Little Wash Jolly Little asks. Anyway, Six Flags is the only place in the world. Six Flags over Texas is big. Over two guests proved it last year. Here.